Hello, and welcome to this full walkthrough of the Advanced Pixel Grid Mapper. In this video, we'll go from a blank canvas to a fully configured Resolume Arena project, showing you how this tool can save you hours of tedious manual setup. First, when you open the application without a license, you'll notice that the premium features like masking and multi-screen layouts are disabled. Let's fix that. I'll copy my license key, head over to the registration form under the Help menu, and paste it in. Once the key is validated, a confirmation message will appear. Now, all the powerful features of the application are unlocked, and we're ready to start building. First, I'll adjust the total canvas size to match our project's requirements. Now, let's start creating the basic building blocks of our design by drawing slices directly onto the grid. I'll quickly lay out all the sections we'll need for this. Project. One for the left. One for the right. A mid-left slice. A mid-right slice. And one for the center. We'll also add slices for the top left, top right, the bottom, and finally a center top piece. To keep our project organized from the start, I'm going to clear out all the default slices from the composition layers panel on the right. This gives us a clean slate to work with. I'll also remove the initial slice layers from the main screen. Layout panel leaving just three for our initial setup. The real power of this tool comes from organizing your slices into a structure that makes sense for Resolume. Let's start by dragging our first slice into layer six. To avoid confusion, we'll rename this slice to left. Next, we'll rename slice two to right and drag it into the same layer six. Now for slice three, we'll name it mid-left. And drag this into layer seven. We'll do the same for slice four, renaming it to mid-right. And dragging it into layer seven as well. Finally, slice five becomes our center slice and we'll place it into layer eight. Let's add a new composition layer, layer 10. We'll rename our next slice to top left and assign it to our new layer 10. Slice seven will be renamed to top right and we'll also drag that into layer 10. Our last two slices will be named bottom and center top. Let's create one more composition layer, layer 11. We'll drag both the bottom slice and the center top slice into this new layer. Now that our slices are assigned, let's give our composition layers meaningful names that will appear in Resolume. Layer 6 Eves becomes L plus R. Layer 7 will be mid L plus mid R. Layer 8 is our center. Layer 10 will be top L plus top R. And layer 11 becomes top plus bottom. To complete our composition structure, I'll add one final layer, layer 12, and name it overall. This could be used for a master effects layer in Resolume. Beyond composition layers, you can also organize slices into separate screens. This is incredibly useful for managing different physical outputs or complex sections of your map. Here I'm creating screen two and moving our left and right slices into it. I'll create screen three for the center slice. Screen four will hold our top left and top right slices. 
And finally, screen 5 will contain the mid-left and mid-right slices. Now let's explore one of the most powerful features, masking. We can apply a preset heart-shaped mask to our top left and top right slices with a single click. For the middle slices, let's use the grid-only mask to create a more pixelated or textured effect. With a simple right click on any mask node, we can toggle the Invert Mask option to easily switch between masking the inside or the outside of our shape. This is a non-destructive way to experiment with your look. For even more precise control, you can switch to Edit Points mode. This allows you to select and move individual vertices of your vector mask, giving you complete creative freedom over its shape. As you can see, I can easily select and navigate through the different screens we created managing our entire project from this one view. Let's apply one more mask, an ellipse, to our center top and bottom slices to round them out. With our layout complete, it's crucial to save our work. I'll save this as a .gproj file, which stores everything we've built. To show you how it works, I'll generate a new grid, which clears the canvas. And now, I'll load the project we just saved. As you can see, everything, our slices, composition layers, screens, and masks, is perfectly restored. With our layout finalized, it's time for the magic. We'll go to the File menu and export both the composition and the advanced output preset. The files are generated instantly. Now let's switch over to Resolume Arena. First, under the Composition menu, we'll click Open and select the AVC file we just generated from the mapper. And just like that, all of our named composition layers are perfectly recreated inside Resolume, ready for content. Next, let's configure the output. We'll go to Output and select Advanced. In the Presets dropdown, we'll open our generated .xml file, and there it is. Every single slice is perfectly positioned and named. The masks we created, like the heart and ellipse shapes, are applied correctly. If we look at the Output Transformation tab, we can see how the slices are mapped to the final output, exactly as we designed them. Fine-tune your setup with precise opacity controls. You can select any screen, composition layer, or even the background image itself. Use the dedicated slider to adjust its transparency, perfect for blending layers or using visual references in your design. Advanced Pixel Grid Mapper can also export high-quality PNG images of your layout for client previews or for use as content itself. Let's go back to the app. I'll save the PNGs for individual slices, the full input selection map, and the output transformation. Now, if we check our output folder, we can see all the images have been generated. We have our individual slice references, the complete input map, and the transformed output map for each screen. Let's put these assets to use. 
Back in Resolume, I'll drag and drop the generated PNGs directly into the clips. This is a fantastic way to create test patterns or placeholder content that exactly matches your pixel map. I'll quickly do this for all the layers we've set up. Now I'll adjust the resolution of each clip to match the original image assets, ensuring a perfect one-to-one -one pixel mapping. With all the clips configured, let's trigger the first column. And there you have it. As you can see in the composition monitor and the advanced output screen, our complex layout is perfectly displayed. What used to be a long and tedious process of manual calculations and configuration is now a fast, visual, and error-free workflow, all thanks to the advanced pixel grid mapper. This tool was built to solve a real-world problem for VJs, event technicians, and anyone who works with complex pixel maps. It bridges the gap between your creative vision and Resolume's powerful output capabilities, letting you focus on what truly matters, creating amazing visuals. Advanced Pixel Grid Mapper is built for professional workflows. Your exact zoom and pan position are saved with your project, so you can always pick up right where you left off. Plus, slices automatically snap to the grid when moved, ensuring pixel-perfect alignment every time. Fine-tune your setup with precise opacity controls. You can select any screen, composition layer, or even the background image itself. Use the dedicated slider to adjust its transparency. Perfect for blending layers or using visual references in your design. Organizing your project is fast and intuitive. Easily reassign slices by dragging and dropping them between different screens in the layout tree. You can also use the right-click menu to reorder slices within a screen giving you full control over the drawing hierarchy and layering. Need a closer look at your layout? Effortlessly zoom in on details using your mouse wheel. Hold the middle mouse button to pan across your entire canvas. If you ever get lost, the default view button instantly resets your perspective, getting you back on track in a second. If you found this tool helpful and want to support its continued development, please consider purchasing a license. It's offered on a pay-what-you-feel-is-fair basis, starting at just $4. Your contribution directly helps cover the costs of creating and updating this software. You can find the download link and more information on the official webpage. Thank you for watching, and happy mapping!